Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Don't Starve Shipwrecked. I said in the last video that I might play this game. Well now I am and I finally figured out how to improve my video quality so this video should be in 1080p 60fps so that's good. So uh Go ahead and play some shipwrecked. This DLC is not compatible with Reign of Giants yet. So we can't play with both of them on. And uh let's see who we'll play with here. I think uh that Willow would probably be the best for shipwrecked. And we can't customize the world. So we're just gonna start. It's just kind of like a test recording, just to see if you guys like this. I don't know if this will be a new series yet. I may, uh, cut this part out. Uh, oh, this this parrot. Oh, thank. Oh, it's a douchebag parrot. Douchebag parrot, guys. They have a douchebag parrot. That's great. You know, I mean, it's it's only one thing to have a normal parrot, but then they have a douchebag parrot. Well, as you see, this doesn't look like normal. Don't starve. I mean, the art style still looks the same, but or not. There's like sand and stuff when we're on like an island. See like, there's the ocean out here. And... You notice that there's a crab. Uh, crabs weren't in normal Don't Starve. And the crabs are basically, they replace the rabbits. So... I, I, I think they're called crabbits, but I'm not sure. I mean, the game calls them crabs, so like... Why would... Why would it be otherwise? I guess, I don't know why the game would lie to me about what they are. <sighs> so, I mean, we got a pretty good starting island, actually. I've gotten some pretty bad ones. Like, we have a lot of resources here, so we could probably afford to stay here for a little bit. We'll probably only go for, like, um... Uh, one or two days, and then I'll end the recording. But, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Willow is probably my favorite character so far. I, um... I, I haven't played much of the, uh... Normal Don't Starve, that's why I don't have all the characters unlocked. Because I'm playing more of Don't Starve Together, because that's multiplayer. So I hope eventually, like, Shipwreck and Don't Start Together, like, combine, because, like, it would be awesome to do this with your friends. And, like, have, like, a, a giant ship that you could all be in at one time. That'd be awesome. So. Just collecting resources. Try we can build a pickaxe. Uh, an axe, and a machete, which those are all pretty useful. Since I have a machete, I can, um, start, um, get, get a better boat right away, because if you don't get a machete right off, you kind of have to deal with a crappy invert boat. Sometimes, like, snakes will come out of these trees like that. He's, he's gonna come at me, isn't he? There we go, you're dead. It's gonna... I might make this my base. This is a pretty good starting island, actually, but I haven't decided yet. 
It would be great if there wasn't any primates on this island, because those things are annoying. So, like, I figured this out the hard way. Like, um, basically, um, I was chopping down some palm trees in another save I was doing. And I was thinking, oh, this is not, like, normal don't starve. Like, the trees don't come alive. And I was thinking, oh, they're not going to come alive like they do in normal don't starve. And I was very wrong. Started chopping down some palm trees with coconuts, and trees come alive and start throwing explosive coconuts at me. And I was like, oh my god. And sometimes, like, this parrot with, like, a pirate hat will come down, and he'll start, like, antagonizing you. It's kind of annoying. He's like, basically, he just tells you you suck all the time. No matter how well you're doing. So, basically, this game's just like, don't starve as is, as is always, as always just tries to screw you over. That's the main goal of this game, is just to screw you over. But it's fun trying to, the game's at odds with you, so you have to basically try to outsmart the game. If any of you guys have never heard or seen a, seen Don't Starve, then, uh, then, uh, where have you been? You've probably been hiding under a rock, but... This game is... A lot of people compare it to Minecraft. I mean, it's a lot more hardcore than Minecraft is, in my opinion. Because, like, in Minecraft, you can't die this easily. I mean... You have hunger in Minecraft, but... It's not... You can't really starve to death on Minecraft unless you're on, like, the hardest difficulty. This game doesn't really have a difficulty slider. It just... It's always on hard. It's the way this game works. This game is like the Dark Souls of survival games. So, yeah. I'm not that good at this game, so if I die, then... Just expect that, because I'm, I'm not good at Don't Starve. I'm not a professional at this game. Before I go to bed, I, I'm not going to bed, but like I said, a fire, I'm going to set a trap by this uh, crab hole, or crab den, or whatever you call it, and wait for that crab to come out, and we're going to set up a fire soon. It's almost night time, and if you never play Don't Starve, you do not want to be out when it's night time. And not have a fire because you will die. Like it's guaranteed. Oh, oh! I need to get some grass, or I'm screwed. Didn't even notice that till now. People would have probably like been like, "You, you, you're dumb." There was grass right there. I didn't notice that. Oh, there's a, it's a new moon, so it's going to be like pitch black. Huh. Oh, do I have any, oh, I can cook these things. These limpets. I mean, this, these things look pretty gross, but they're better than eating nothing. And, I mean, I can't eat monster meat, so... I'm gonna keep it though. So yeah. Um, just leave a comment down below if you want to see more of this or whatever. I um, would like to do more of this if you guys really want it. My Sims 3 through didn't go very well, so I'm probably just going to cancel that series because I didn't really get any feedback on that, so... I, I didn't know that the people who watch my channel didn't like The Sims. I'm a big Sims fan, but you have to do what the people want. You can't just do what you want. Because, like, that's not the way YouTube works. Unless you're popular. You can do whatever you want. 
Okay, today we're actually gonna go sailing, because it's we're gonna go check out the other islands. So, as you see in this game, there's like boats and stuff you can ride in. There's also new creatures in the water. So, like, I, I used to think that you always want to avoid these waves. Like, if you go with the waves, like, in this direction, you actually get a speed boost. But if you go, like, against the waves, like, it damages your boat. So, you always want to go with the waves if you can. It's a, a seagull, or some demonic seagull over there. Don't know, wanna, don't want to get involved with that. Call it demonic seagull. Oh, that that was the evil flower. I'm probably Oh, this is an evil island, isn't it? So there's evil flowers everywhere. Is this like a swamp? Is there, is there gonna be a tentacle come out? I've I've not seen this location yet, so what the fuck is that thing? Oh god, it's attacking me. I drop monster meat. a fisherman that lives there maybe I don't know oh god I'm just gonna get out of here um, I guess those things are the new tentacles oh bees oh god they're aggressive this island is not good this is like a very unsafe island probably want to get away from here there's something in that bush I saw it shake might be some kind of like turkey. In no, it's a it's a, sp it's a snake. Or I thought there was gonna be like a gobbler. Oh god, it's bees! Oh shit, there's bees everywhere. We gotta find our boat. Where the frick is our boat? We're gonna die if we don't find our boat. Uh, get in the boat. Uh. Well, apparently bees can't go across the ocean. <laughs> apparently couldn't, but they can fly, so they should be able to fly over water. There's a jellyfish. Don't attack them, because they're pretty dangerous. <sighs> We're gonna sail up here, because that island is no bueno. Gonna have to go back there once we um more stronger and more decked out. This island looks okay. I don't see any evil flowers, so let's take a look around. Might as well pick some flowers to raise our sanity. As you can imagine, a game that's called Don't Starve, the main way you die in this game is starving to death, so... It's not that hard to figure out. Um, that's probably some kind of evil tree, and I don't want to cut it down. I wonder if it'll get pissed off if I cut down this coconut tree, or palm tree, or whatever you want to call it. Nope, didn't get pissed off. Can I, like, do anything with this? Chop it. I'm maybe making a bad mistake here. No, it, 
apparently it's just a tree that makes weird noises. I don't know if I have enough time to get back to the other starting island. Does green crabs raise your sanity but lower your health? That's interesting. Oh, uh, hope those snakes don't get too close. Might as well eat this monster meat. I mean, it's gonna go to waste anyways. I mean, we need the food. Soon as this night ends, I'm probably gonna end the video, and this will be the first part. If you guys like it, then... If you guys like this, then like the video, and comment, and subscribe and all that nonsense so we're just gonna try to survive the night here I hope that snake doesn't come and kill us to chop that tree down because it's like in the middle of the night and we're in can't see if the snake is gonna pop out of it so I'm just gonna wait till morning yeah just killed that snake let's cook him up let's just eat it even though it's nasty Okay guys, we're on day three now. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. My name is Flare Charger, and I am out.